This project is going to create generational wealth for yourself and for everybody else who has multiple computers and is ready to tackle one of the most important revolutions of this wonderful planet. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. Thanks for being here with me today on the channel. I do appreciate it. I honestly thought of that pie video and the default video would have got more views, but clearly not, my friends, uh, but all good. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. I don't want to waste any more time. We have a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Now, Internet Computer, currently ranked at number 30th on CoinGecko, sitting at $7.18, just pretty darn cheap, considering that it's somewhat been hovering around the three to five dollar level three to seven dollar level yes that's double the price of course but guys this project has not even yet done what it needs to do its market cap is only 3.4 billion dollars so it's still teeny tiny teeny little tolly now what i'm going to share with you is that obviously we are looking at an incredibly powerful cryptocurrency so what exactly is icp let's go and check it out so icp is world computer or internet computer the internet computer hosts secure network resident code and data build web apps without big tech and current it applications are immune to cyber attacks and unstoppable capable of processing tokens and can run under exclusive DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Control. Build Web3 social media games, DeFi, um, multi-chain apps, secure front ends, ledgers, enterprise apps, and AI models. The internet is evolving fast. So what exactly is ICP? ICP is the internet computer is a public blockchain network enabled by new science from first principles it is millions of times more powerful uh, and can replace clouds which is very important so hence apple cloud google cloud yahoo cloud onedrive cloud microsoft cloud may not exist down the line in the near future and a project like this could capture all of that business if it is done in the way that they're planning to do. Now, I'll talk, I'll talk to you a bit about this. So it is millions of times more powerful and can replace clouds and traditional IT. Traditional IT, in other words, fuck the emails, because honestly, like I have a thousand emails a day, guys, and I love all of that, but holy crap, it is so much work and energy to go through. So what about a system that looks at all of the information and somewhat just draws it down into like a simplified summation of that information. Wouldn't that make your life easier, be able to respond faster, get things done faster, more business? And that is the efficiency of life, which has uh, technology and AI and IT has really helped us get to. The network created by ICP or Internet Computer Protocol is orchestrated by permissionless decentralized governance and is hosted on sovereign hardware devices run by independent parties. Its purpose is to extend the public internet and native cloud computing functionality. Absolute beautiful expansion there right now. So ICP's vision is that most of the world's software will be replaced by smart contracts. To achieve this vision, ICP is designed to make smart contracts as powerful as traditional software. So I'm going to fly through the rest of this. It's a public blockchain with cloud-like power. Efficiency comparable to traditional IT. ICP hosted smart contracts serve web experiences directly to users. It's interoperability. It's developer empowerment. It's got chain key verification decentralized governments, scaling via subnets, sovereign node hardware, on-chain parallelism. In other words, what's the point of oracles? We'll talk about that in a moment. De uh, deterministic decentralization, web assembly, reverse gas. In other words, the gas don't cost you money and smart contracts serve that serve web assets. Now, you can come here and connect and check them out, check out their social media. I've clicked here on the dApps. 
I just want to fly through the depths here. They have all projects, 285. Um, just to have a, a quick scroll, the ICP swap, ICP fusion, ICP funded, uh, NFID, NFID, okay? Open chat, which is like a telegram, on chain, uh, gold DAO, uh, DAO governs gold token, gaming, de here, decentralized Oracle. So here they have an Oracle, fully on chain Oracles, secure and reliable. Although here they do talk about why the Oracles are not that important any longer, which would make me concerned about our chain link investments. World computer capabilities. The internet computer provides numerous unique cap capabilities that enable it to play the role of world computer, provide a foundation for transforming the internet and deliver opportunities to builders and users. Okay. So we can see that it will connect web two and web three without oracles because oracles are the parallel bridges that bridge all of the web two and web three assets. Um, and that is essentially what BlackRock are looking at with the, uh, the real world asset scenario. So until now, blockchains had to rely on expensive and slow oracles to read from off chain data sources. ICP smart contracts can directly connect to web two APIs, making oracles obsolete. Now that's interesting because obviously here they, there's an app on here called Aurelie, which is an, a, a decentralized Oracle, which is kind of what um, Chainlink is already, right? So Internet of Things, and essentially what it hap what happens is they have um, calls. So a transaction is the call instead of being charged charged the transaction free. This is a breakthrough performance, my friend. Okay, so ICP has no th theoretical maximum transactions. Throughput scales horizontally with each added subnet. Analogous how to cloud computing scales out with added machine smart contracts on different subnets can always communicate with each other without getting bottlenecked with a growing number of subnets. That's exactly what's going on. So they have 200 milliseconds get call query calls, one to two seconds finality, post update calls, query speed call, uh, is 1.11 million query calls and update speed call is 20,800. This is amazing technology. And as you can see here, first Googleable smart contracts in the world. You can Google these smart contracts. The reverse gas model is one of major hurdles uh, for blockchain adoption in users having to buy and hold tokens to interact with the blockchain to pay for gas fees. The internet computer has been designed with mass adoption in mind for the ground up. Developers charge up their smart contracts with cycles, the IC analog to get, so users don't have to pay when interacting with the smart contracts. This removes a major barrier for end users. It's 100% on-chain, so there's zero cloud. Wow, this is amazing, guys. Absolutely interesting. And ICP as a D-PIN network. And as we all know, D-PIN is a massive part of the cycle, decentralized physical infrastructure network. Amazing stuff, yeah. Loka Mining. Loka is a platform that enables retail investors to acquire BTC at a lower lower than market price by providing liquidity to Bitcoin miners without any exposure to centralized party risk using the trustless, non-custodial, escrow and fully decentralized pool. Rent Space is a pioneering future of property rentals by harnessing the power of Web3 technology. Wow, integration of chain. This is what is very powerful. Native Bitcoin smart contracts, Bitcoin and Ethereum smart contracts, extending Ethereum and cross-chain transactions signing. Wow. Okay. Turn any Web3 service into a decentralized autonomous operational system. Cool protocols. Um, wow, guys. I, 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 I'm actually blown away. Now, the key thing here is that the chain key signatures has Bitcoin integration on I, uh, ICP. So it rests on two pillars, key chain signatures and direct interaction between inter ICP nodes and Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer ne uh, network. Massive. Now, now as, as you can see here, Definity is what the Twitter page is called, updates on all things. Uh, you can come over here, They're, they have tons of news coming out. There's so much stuff that is busy happening on ICP. And ICP, as we all know, 
was obliterated by the FTX and uh, that whole ridiculous scandal that happened there. And the high on this chart was $461. But the high on this chart, as you can see where we are right now, and we'll zoom out. The high on this chart was actually a whole lot more. This thing was sitting up at like two, nearly $3,000. I don't know if it's ever going to reach there, but that was about the one level that we had spoken about. Uh, but if we do, and bearing in mind that this is on the monthly, let alone the weekly time frame, because on the one month, it obviously collapsed. Now, on the on the monthly time frame, you can see here that we're actually creating a, high, a source of higher lows. And isn't it interesting that a year ago, back in August 2023, I drew this and said that this would be the way that ICP would probably march its way back up to its next highs. But look at this. Little behold, this fucking candle rocketed right up here. And that was like a ridiculous, I don't know, even know, I don't even know. That's a 280% candle. Have you ever heard of a 280% candle? Yes, only in old coins, my friends. Then we had another candle up here, hit this level of resistance, bounced down. Right now, we're finding support here. Yes, we are a little bit overbought on the stochastic RSI, but my friends, it looks like it wants to continue its rally and its rocket. So let's go and talk and discuss a little bit of some scenarios in terms of price action that we could potentially see. But the one thing that I do want to note is that you'll make a lot of dollars with ICP. I don't know about making a lot of uh, Bitcoin with ICP, because right now, this chart actually looks to me like it's continuing to go down, okay? It's, it seems like there's pressure for downward trend, especially with this being a little bit overheated here right now. So I'd be very cautious. If we did break the horizontal line right there, my friends, that would and close the candle below that, that would tell me that we would be absolutely going much further down, which means that ICP becomes worthless compared to Bitcoin. And remember that ICP is doing some crazy stuff out here with Bitcoin. And that's why it is looking at um, all of this cross-chain protocol integration. And that is where we get key signatures from helping build the blockchain network. So a blockchain expands a Bitcoin, a blockchain expands on Bitcoin and integration that will help ICP in itself because of the integration. So this is very, very powerful. If you want to go ahead and participate in buying some of this ICP, use my Bybit link down below. You can get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Right now, I don't know, we look scary like to the downside, but the truth be said is we're holding this, this level here right now. The moment we break this level, yes, I'd be a little bit afraid, but who knows? We could just kind of, I mean, look at that level there. Look at that horizontal level there. It really seems as though we've hit a bottom out on ICP at the $6.70. But my friends, I doubt this coin is going to zero. So I'd like to adhere you. And without this being financial advice, if we were to somewhat hit the all-time high up here at $461, okay, $461 is all the way up here. Boom, right there. So let's go and have a look at what the scenario looks like. Now, if you were to buy 13 ICP today, that would be $100, right? If we, in fact, the market cap here is actually $3.4 billion right now, right? Yeah, hence the $7.18. So right now, what we could see here is actually $13, okay? Is a, sorry, $102. So you'd need actually um, this isn't the scenario. Of course, I'll call this five. This will be five. Let's make a five, 3.5. Yeah, sitting it around that. Okay, yeah, 3718. That's what we said. Uh, 718. Seven dollars and eighteen cents. Okay, so seven dollars and eighteen cents. That's where our market cap is currently. So. Your portfolio right now is currently a little bit under because this is not the ICP price. The ICP price is 718. But let's go and give this a scenario. If we were to add a 10x to this scenario, that would take us to a 30 billion. Now remember, the all-time high on this as a market cap is actually sitting at a 18 and a half billion. So if we did a 30 billion dollar market cap, 
we would hit ourselves a $64 price. $64 price would be very interesting because your $100 were converted to $834. It's a little simple 8x. Now, if this had to somewhat hit a $300 billion market cap, I don't know. I cannot tell you where this coin is going. But right now, honestly, a $300 billion market cap would give this coin 100x, meaning, well, not quite 100x, give it like an 80x there, okay? Meaning you take $100 and convert that $100 with a $634 um, coin price, which is seemingly pretty close to this level up here, which if I pull this down on the weekly, I do believe, no, there wasn't even anything. So this is $634, okay? $300 billion market cap. I would say that that's probably reasonable. I don't know if it's reasonable in this cycle, but possibly especially if it's going to continue to do what it's doing. Now, my friend, that's an 80X. So it means you're going to take $100 and convert $100 into $8,250. That's massive, 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 incredibly powerful life-changing gains. And if I were you, I would please make sure that you recognize that this is a massive potential for this market cap. Could it go higher? I don't know. What happens if we had to hit that $2,840 price that it did at the scene? I mean, that would give us a $1.3 trillion market cap. I don't know if it could do that, guys. That's 361x. I mean, I, I previously have said it, that it could do some ridiculous gains. But, I mean, you still only take $100 and convert it, convert it into $36,000, which is really amazing considering you're 36x in your money. But there are coins out there that could do some really exponential gains just like this um this is a very low risk coin so the choice is yours my friend go, go ahead, ahead hit my link down below get yourself some icp i do have quite a big bag of icp myself i have two different bags of icp uh one on buy but one on binance so make sure to use and subscribe my crypto bliss channel hit the pi link down in the description of the video up there go mine pi guys you want to be mining pi it's ridiculous. Go watch that video. I'll leave it up there in the comments for you. You're going to be making life-changing money with me this cycle. So thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you. And we will see you on the next one.